Good morning. Wheelers at large. We're out again. It's another morning ride. There's a bit of a nip in the air. Definitely feels more autumnal. But we've got clear skies, so we're hoping we're going to see a sunrise. Oh, here's Winton. Everything's still asleep. <laughs> Not even any delivery lorries yet. Yeah, that's fine by me. I'd rather they are in front than had to overtake us. Well, this is Winton Banks, but no banks anymore. <laughs> Used to be banks on all four corners, pretty much. Another bank over here was Barclays, but uh, not these days. In fact, I think the only bank in town now is uh, Lloyd's and Nationwide. Bellagio's, nice Italian. Been there a few times. In the past, though, <laughs> with uh, everything that's gone on, probably over. 18 months ago. Wow, didn't time go fast? We're going to get a slightly different route today. Uh, has he seen both of us? Yes, he has. Rather than go looking for a sunrise, even though it is a very starry night, I mean, <laughs> we'll probably get one this morning, we'll see. I thought we'd... Uh, Head down a few high streets. There's something about a town first thing in the morning when there's no traffic. I'm not sure we're early enough. We were a little bit reluctant this morning. Julie certainly was. I uh, went downstairs, made the coffee, got the bikes ready, came back upstairs and she was still in bed. But she's here, so we're out. She did a good job of everything. <laughs> That is yet to be seen, but we do have coffee and I think we've got the right ones. Fingers crossed. That click is back. Oh no, it's got, yeah, no, it's back, no, it's gone. Yeah, one of the bottom bracket bearings had actually seized up and uh, the crank was spinning in it. So, uh, got it moving, packed it full of grease again and shoved it back on. It is a repair as opposed to um, a replacement, so it could be that. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't got top gear, I haven't got any gears. That's better. I'm sorry, you said you had no gears. I find that hard. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so so I think possibly Julie was catastrophizing just a little bit. It went from it, 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 went from, it won't go into gear. To I've got no gears. <laughs> I think we're okay. I think we're off again. It is warm here, isn't it? We've gone down the hill there and towards the sea, and it's like the temperature has just changed by about two or three degrees. It's like warm. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> it's definitely warm here. Influenced by the sea. Anyway, this is sort of commercial hill, if you like. Primark? You've got to have a Primark, haven't you? Seems to be the way. That was m &S, yes. Not anymore. There's Greg's. I keep hearing about Greg's. I've never actually been in one. Sketches. And then we'll just nip round here. We have lots of cafes. And in front of us there, 
It's Pondock. Flaffles and stuff. Proper Egyptian cuisine, apparently. And mostly vegan and vegetarian. Cafe Flirt at the end. Starbucks, of course. There you go, changed for me. I'm going that way, okay. I was aiming for the sea. I thought we might go along the beach to get back. But it's a bit brighter and we can see. Yeah, so when I was growing up, this was always a triangle. But, uh, yeah, over the years, it's sort of extended down to the other triangle as well. And you can see why it's called the triangle. Bars, clubs, Kotai. Hi. Yeah, it's a good selection up at this side of town. Definitely worth climbing up the hill and having a look around. Come away from the beach, come away from the gardens and just check out a triangle. Right. Next stop, Westbourne. So anyway, this is Westbourne. And the only thing you really need to know about Westbourne is Shea Fred. By far the best fish and chips ever. Let's not even talk about in towns, just ever. But uh, there used to be quite a lot of sort of boutique shops through here clothes boutiques, uh, furniture, bits and pieces, a wine shop there, you know, so smaller boutique options and um, these days a lot more cafes but definitely, definitely a place you might just want to wander around for an hour or so. Again, come away from the beach, come up to Westbourne and just wander around for a bit and have a look. It's just a little bit different. There's a nice little arcade. Got the usual Costa Starbucks if that's your thing. But uh, there's a, a lounge, the Circo Lounge. So that's a place where we go for breakfast on occasion. Okay, this is where I touch the button. And it, yes, see, it works. How does she do that? Anyway, I'm not going to make any guarantees on this, but if you get a magic shine light with a remote button, maybe you can have the same kind of control over the traffic lights. Click the link in the description. Magic shine, Ray 2600. This is, uh, well, it used to be called Frizzell House. It's now Liverpool Victoria, LV. And uh, back in the 1970s when it was built, you can't really see it. I'm going to go all the way around so you can see it. Oh, you can't see it. It's surrounded by trees. I'm not surprised because it's a hideous looking thing now. There, there, you can see it. No, you see, they've even put trees along here to try and hide it. But anyway, yes, back in the 70s, it won design awards. Yeah, these days, it just looks like a monstrosity. <laughs> it's funny how things, some things age well and some things don't. Right, next stop, Parkstone, I guess. And then down to the beach. Hopefully it'll be bright enough we can see a view. There is the sunrise we're not going to see. <laughs> because we're going the wrong way but it's out there <laughs> yeah right Parkstone nice shop just there teas and coffees from around the world 
There's fresh coffee and fresh teas. Every single tea you could ever want. And Julie would know because she wants a lot of tea. car came all the way from Southbourne this morning. I recognise that number plate. There we go. I mean, what are you doing on my road? I'm late for work, get out of the way. It's ten past six and we're going to go into see you. Yes, there's the harbour, all lit up, centre of town as well, we'll be down there in a minute. Here's uh, the Purbex where we cycle regularly, and in the middle is Brown Sea Island. Right, long downhill now, probably going to get cold. Straight down. Whoa. Yeah, see you pressed the wrong button that time. Even on the traffic cues it's called of Persia. Paul General Hospital was the main hospital in the area for many, many years. It still is very much a uh, main hospital, but uh, of course there's one in Bournemouth now to share the load, as it were. A lot of overlap between them. I think they're part of the same NHS group now as well. But um, yeah, for many years before Bournemouth was built, Poole was the main hospital in the area. Again, during the day, this is really busy. No light coming through here during the day. Yeah, this is the main shopping arcade down in Poole and the bus station. Poole Lighthouse, theatres, and stuff like that in there. Right, we can take the bike path over there, but to be honest, at this time in the morning, we just stick to the road. I'm gonna head down to the water. There's a train coming through very slowly because the station's only a few hundred yards behind us. And here's the uh, the boating lake. And we do get our sunrise. Yeah, I think Julie just went for a yeehaw. You know, this isn't something she does for the camera. This is just something she does. <laughs> oh, look how pink that is. That was worth getting up for. I'm hungry now. Can we have coffee? Yeah. We got coffee with us, but oh, neither yeah. of us touched it. Well, well, I was going to stop down at the beach at Shore Road. Oh, but, OK, um... we'll do that. That's obviously why it's called Keyhole Bridge. Look at that. Yeehaw! <laughs> there you go, Ava. Oh, birds singing, a sunrise. Couldn't be better. Well, this is Lilliput, and uh, it's 
come past the garage there, all I could smell was bacon. It smells amazing. <laughs> And here we are, down at the beach. Too many boards in the way of the view, obviously. There it is. There's people in the sea, having a swim. So we were just talking to a couple of the swimmers and they were saying that September is the best time of year for uh, swimming in the sea and they hope to swim in a swimming costume for as long as possible, hopefully through September and um, one of them was saying she's actually going to get a wetsuit out and try and swim through the winter, so. but uh, that's, that's not unusual here, it never really gets so cold that it's not possible to swim in the sea. Um, and uh, we certainly see them all year round, dotted at different places along the, uh, along the seafront. And why wouldn't you, you know? I mean, I wouldn't, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> E-bikes. Have you got your glasses? I have got my glasses. I did try and lose them. Julie saved me. I put them on the wall instead of on my bike. <laughs> she noticed this and put them on my bike. Ooh, chilly all of a sudden. That's because it comes down through the valley there, the cold, cold air. That's right, I do poached egg on toast with bacon when we get home. If you're lucky, we might even have an avocado on offer. Uh, I mean, I say if you're lucky, because it, it might just be that 10 minutes when it's absolutely perfect. We'll have to see. Well, we've just got to uh, Bournemouth Pier. The big wheel. Having not had a yee for ages, I'm going to do another one. <laughs> Very nice ride. Really. Yeah, that worked out. Yeah, worked out well, didn't it? So, if you've watched this far into the video, thank you for watching us. Click the like button, and we'll see you on the next one. Well, what a difference! <laughs>